a Martian. You know, there's a famous story about uh, when Graham Parsons, um, who's a musician from the late 60s, early 70s, uh, when he died, um, his friends uh, stole his casket at LAX and they took it out to 29 Palms, which is the desert about an hour and a half south, southeast of Los Angeles. And they set his uh, coffin on fire when the, as the sun came up. And not, you know, it's been since the song has been written, it was made into a movie. It was, I think it was called Graham, uh, Graham Auto Theft or something like that. Um, with Johnny Knoxville, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. but, um, and I just love that story. It's such a romantic story. And so I was down in New Orleans and trying to come up with a good song and, and thought of like, why don't I take that story with a, maybe with some personal experience um, and weave it into about losing a really great friend and, uh, and, and as a tribute to them taking their ashes to the, you know, driving overnight to the ashes, take the ashes to the, to the beach where you, where you grew up. And, um, you know, the, the image of listening to a favorite song as the sun came up and the ashes are in the air and you're dancing on the hood of the car was just a really romantic image to me. And, and, and you know, that song, those lyrics just kind of happened. And it was after the song was written in the three and a half minutes, you know, because most pop songs are three and a half minutes. It was after that we recorded and everything that we realized that Lifetime is three and a half minutes exactly. Mm -hmm. um, it may be 331. It's and the song that's referenced, the REM song, Perfect Circle from Murmur, is three and a half minutes long. So. You letting that out. Look I'm at letting that. You, know. you, got, um, you got a piece of information that no one's ever. Well, I've kind of tell people that now. Yeah. But so hocus pocus. <laughs> and it is a fan favorite now. You I must, think the, the lyrics certainly must have um, you know attached to people. A lot of people in Nashville. A lot of people in Nashville, a lot of songwriters who I were, who were, um, had no idea had ever heard our music, like, man, I dig that song Lifetime. It's good, it's good lyric. <laughs> That's good stuff. Now let's write our song. <laughs> she was a crew, you know. Uh, you know, uh, some really great songwriters, so I'm very, uh, we're, we're, that's a, you know, a, a good song. It's one, some, some, some songs you have um, are, you're like, yeah, we wrote that song, but it's bigger than the band, or, you know, sometimes you're just floating out there, and if you just happen to be attuned to the frequency that it's on, as silly as that sounds, I swear, if you just open yourself up sometimes, things will come to you, and that was an example of one of those songs. We're always, uh, we, I mean, people ask me that, do you get tired of playing good? And, and I'm like, you know, those songs were very, no pun intended, were very good to us. And, uh, you know, so I, people are, always enjoy the songs. And as long as people enjoy hearing the songs, we'll enjoy playing them. We're not, we're not a band. We 